Hi everyone, this is Han here from Sony Malaysia. In this video, it's a quick preview video on Zekri One latest firmware update, which is allows you to use your Zekri One as a webcam direct USB connection to your computer without the needs of software and capture card. For the very first time, both audio and video signal are transmitted via USB cable as well. This quick video guide is only applicable to Zekri One on the latest firmware update. Please visit Sony's support page to download the latest firmware and update your ZV1 first. Once you update it successfully, please remove the USB cable, then switch your camera mode to movie mode. Additionally, I also suggest to set auto power off temperature to high, so you can continue using ZV1 even temperature gets hotter than normal. In my experience, my previous live streaming was around 2 hours duration, and it still keep going. Finally, set your camera into USB streaming state. Once it's ready, please connect the supply USB cable to ZV1 and connect to your computer via the USB cable. It's done! Your camera is ready for web conferencing or live streaming. For web conferencing example, simply go into your preferred application, select the video and audio input to ZV1 in the setting. For Facebook Live, simply go into your live creation page. Usually it start with your computer webcam and microphone if available. Then you need to change the video and audio input to ZV1. So you access to high quality video and audio together for better live streaming experience. Why ZV1 is the best camera for live streaming? Many thanks to two unique features on ZV1, which is one push bokeh button and product showcase setting. For one push bokeh button, it gives you simple control whether you want the subject to be isolated or not from the background, such as background blur or clear on the subject with a push of button to switch around. Another great feature is called product showcase setting, where you can easily let the camera grab the focus on anything, anything in front of the camera instantaneously with minimal effort. Easily for you to showcase your product with high quality visual experience. Alright, so this is the test number one here with the audio and the video quality comparison. So the first one is from the computer webcam as well as the sound from the computer as well. So it's a built-in microphone just to show you here. So this is some there's some text on here. You can see it's not as clear, a bit fuzzy and blurry. Although I have a very good lighting right here, but it's still yeah, due to the sensor size in the webcam is actually very small, that's why it don't give you the kind of clarity from the computer webcam. Alright, so next I'm gonna to switch to the uh, ZV1 with the audio and the video comparison. Alright, so just stay tuned. So this is the second test here with the audio and visual quality from the ZV1. As you can see, the comparison from previously, the webcam was a bit muddy and then not so clear. And this one, text sharp focus, you can see the words and clear and background just like blurs away. Ah, then thanks to the one inch sensor in this ZV1, you can see very nice visual uh, from this and also better sound quality from the ZV1. Alright, so next I'm going to do the same test again but with a different sound options. Alright, just stay tuned. For the third test, you can see that I'm actually using the ECM-31N right now with this wireless microphone capability. Ah, so the receiver actually attached to the hot shoe on top already. So with wireless microphone, you can actually freely to move around, so making your live uh, sharing even more flexible. Imagine yourself actually doing uh, some, uh, uh, let's say, fashion review and looking at talking about this particular uh, cloth or material, and you need you need to move around to grab it and share about it. Yes, you can do that. So with this wireless microphone, let's say myself actually move out of the frame. I'm actually moving out of the frame now, and the sound is still going through to the microphone, and you still get nice and high quality audio straight to the ZV1. Ah, so I say I'm back here again. So you can imagine how flexible it is with this setup right here easily and you can do it for your live streaming making your viewer even more enjoyable because previously if you're using smartphone then if you move away from the sound the sound might not be as clear but right, right now this one you can have more flexibility with this new firmware update on the zv1 all right so stay tuned for the uh, the rest of the video once you have concluded your sharing or live streaming if you would like to disable the usb streaming on camera simply press the center button on the z1 to cancel it and you'll go back to normal Thank you everyone for checking out this latest firmware update on ZV1. Take good care and I'm Han from Sony Malaysia.